So much of this country dealing with bitterly cold temperatures and ice-covered roads after two storms collided. In Pennsylvania, going to church also meant some Sunday shoveling today. In Missouri, digging out while still managing to get into the spirit of it all. But this image tonight with the story of what's ahead now. Starting the work week in a deep freeze. That Arctic blast coming from the north. The temperatures plummeting up to 25 degrees below normal. And ABC's Rob Nelson is in Boston tonight. From the blowing to the shoveling. I hope my boss sees it. To the cleaning. These scenes from around Boston today played out across a large swath of the Midwest and Northeast as more than 20 states dust themselves off from a massive winter storm that dumped anywhere from a few inches to more than a foot of snow and now has claimed at least four lives. Old man winter has arrived early this year and with a vengeance. Overnight, a charter bus in Newark, New Jersey slammed into a bridge, sending 12 people to the hospital. The latest in a string of storm related nightmares on the road. In New Haven, Connecticut, on the day after, motorists were still dealing with all the ice and slick conditions. Serious, real serious. I say tread safely. Safety first. Chaos at airports as well today, with nearly 7,000 flights delayed and almost 400 canceled. The weather could also cause some delays in getting your holiday packages delivered on time. But that didn't stop Bostonians from hitting the stores today. It's really complicated because it's really slippery and we have to like watch our staff really hard. Meanwhile, Palm Coast, Florida is recovering after a tornado linked to the same weather system destroyed seven homes and damaged another 150. Not even the sunshine stayed safe from this massive storm. A lot of the snow may already be melting, but temperatures are now falling, and that could mean a very icy Monday morning commute.